Hey, what's going on? Hey man, just reading about AI. Huh? That actually reminds me. I'm thinking about training my own chat GPT. Do you even know how to train your own large language model? Well, how hard can it be? Well, it says here, all you need is a chunk of the internet, a thousand GPUs, and a few million dollars. And voila, you'll have your own chat GPT in no time. Hey, how do you know so much about AI? The Veritas Tech AI playlist. We got a lot of great stuff going on over there. You should go check it out and see what it actually takes to build your own LLM. Thousands of GPUs and a few million dollars? Pfft, no problem. Hey, YouTube. I'm Rochelle Diangson, and if you've ever wondered how LLMs are trained, you're in for a treat. Today, we're discussing LLM pre-training with Veritas expert Varun Grover. Hey, Rochelle. Great to be here. Excellent. Well, Varun, just like building a house, you need a solid foundation. What does pre-training entail? So pre-training is actually the first step when it comes to building a foundational model or training a large language model. And it really involves taking a chunk of the internet, a few ter multiple terabytes of data, and then you need a, a lot of GPUs or a cluster of GPUs, thousands of them, um, which, which cost a, a lot, <laughs> millions of dollars. And then you're able to then generate your first foundation model, which is sort of like an encyclopedia, a generalist, if you will. And then you can fine tune it for specific tasks. You also need to then make sure that you align the large language model based on human preferences uh, using techniques like reinforcement learning. And then after that, you can start to leverage it for different tasks uh, by fine tuning and also uh, things like model augmentation when you can give the large language model the ability to talk to enterprise data. So there's basically a lot of different things that you can do once the foundational model is built, but the foundational model itself is really powerful too. So what if you don't have those kind of resources? What are your options? So one of the biggest things that we're starting to see in the industry is that there's huge opportunity in taking a foundational model and then fine tuning it or augmenting it with your enterprise data. So you don't need to go out and reinvent the wheel and spend millions of dollars in doing that, but you use some of those powerful capabilities that exist in a GPT or a Llama, and then you build on top of it for your specific task or use case. And that's actually working really well for a number of companies. Okay, so that's how I would go ahead and get started. If I was just AI, you know, first step, go go into a foundation that's already established. It's really important to have an intentional and thoughtful approach here. So if you were to think of it in a crawl, walk, run roadmap, I think the first step is to think about fine tuning or augmentation and then seeing how it performs for you. In fact, some people even start a level before that with prompt engineering. But if you need a little bit of more domain specific, organizational specific data, you can just refine that model a little bit more and it can work really well for your use case and you don't even need to spend that, that amount of money. Are there other things people should keep in mind as they're delving into their AI journey? So the number one thing I, I recommend people keep in mind is a good AI strategy starts with a good data management strategy. So if you have the right data in place and you have data that has um, been enriched for your specific use case, then you will get the most power out of AI and generative AI. You heard it here first. It all goes back to good data management. <laughs> Varun, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all your LLM pre-training knowledge. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content on cybersecurity and AI.